Today we are going to discuss about Office 365 Tenant User Administration. In User Administration in Office 365, we will be focusing only on disabling account and deleting them. You know that we most of the admins use the Active Directory in on-premise when it comes to the hybrid identity, wherein you are synchronizing your identity from your on-premise Active Directory to the cloud. So there are certain companies they only have the Office 365 Tenant. We have to use uh, the cloud only portal in order to manage these activities and you will not easily find how to disable an account. So we will see what is the alternative for disabling an account in Office 365 admin and also the three different way that you can interact with such activities either using the Office 365 admin center or the PowerShell or a third option as Azure Active Directory interface. So without further ado. Let's log into the admin center of Office 365 with your account which has a privilege to manage the user, user accounts and let us navigate to the users section. So under users section I am going to use a demo user for all these activities. So in order for me to disable an account uh, for example demo user there is no disable option available in the 365. Instead you can go ahead and block sign in option once you block the sign in the user sessions will be automatically signed out and user will not be allowed to log in that's what we normally say disable account so you can see that the user is now blocked from signing in they will be automatically signed out of all microsoft services so this is equal to the disabling of account in case if you want to re-enable you can go ahead and uncheck it and save it and that will also that will enable the account for them to use it again and the second option that I mentioned is through the PowerShell so in order for you to interact with the user account management through the PowerShell all you need to do is to execute a command which is connect hyphen MS OIL service which is nothing but Microsoft online service and then it will it will ask you to enter the credentials which is having permission to connect to the online PowerShell interface and then get access to the or get the PowerShell connected with the Office 365 service or MS OIL service. So once it connects then you can execute the command. Check the current status of the user login. The property that we usually look for is block credential. If the block credential value is set as true which means the user is not allowed to log in or in another way we say the user is disabled. In case if you want to enable the user from PowerShell, the command that we are going to execute is what I have written in the not part here, which is nothing but set MS OIL user, target the user which you want to enable and then set the property block credential to false. So that once we set the block credential as false, the user will be allowed to log in or in another way, the user status is enabled. What if we want to see all the accounts which are disabled or which are blocked from signing in. You can choose the filter called sign in blocked. Once you choose the sign in blocked filter you will see all the account which are currently disabled for sign in. So now let us enable a demo user to sign in. So I have set the block credential parameter as false by executing the command and this command I will be posting it part of the description you can go through it. And once you set that and if you refresh the page again, you will not see that account again, which means the account is now enabled for login. So this is what usually we do with the Office 365 admin and the PowerShell. My favorite place is Azure Active Directory. So go to the portal.azure.com and select Azure Active Directory and then search for the account that you want to manage. Open it. You have many options available here, but in this video, we are only discussing the Disabling of account and deleting so to disable the account you can see the settings block sign in set as now yes How do we modify you can click on edit so that you will be allowed to modify some of the value and this is one of them So you can set to no and save it when you set no which means the account is Allowed to login which means the account is enabled 
these are the portals that you can use in order to manage the account now we will discuss how do we delete a user account my favorite place over here as well it is Azure interface but there are certain advantages when you do it from Office 365 admin center account deleted are still available for you to recover for the next 30 days under the deleted user section so now let's look at what is the difference in executing this command Office 365 admin center and the Azure Active Directory center when you delete an account from Office 365 admin center it will also remove the license that is associated with the account and if you do the same from Azure Active Directory it will not remove the licenses which are assigned rather it, it will only remove it when the user gets deleted permanently which is after 30 days so usually I go and delete the account from the Azure Active Directory in order for me to ensure that I don't modify any other services which are associated with the user in case if I need to restore them back but if you want to recover the license immediately and to assign it to somebody else it is always better to do it from the office 365 admin center otherwise in azure active directory you will have to manually unassign the licenses which you are applied to the user so if you want to recover the license immediately use the office 365 admin if you just want to delete the user thinking that you might need to enable it back again use the azure ad or the powershell if you like the video click on the like button subscribe the channel and put it on reminder so that you get notified on the new videos that i'm going to come up with in case if you have any queries in terms of enabling disabling account write it on the comment section i will definitely respond to your queries and it is now time for us to wind up i'll be coming back with another video very soon till then this is praveen balan bye